Thanks for joining us. First up at nine, a new chapter in the ongoing debate over the reverse lanes in Phoenix, often known as suicide lanes by people who are opposed to them. These are the center lanes on 7th Street and 7th Avenue, which switch directions each day during rush hour. Yeah, not everybody's happy with them. Some neighbors and business owners, they think it is time for them to go. They have a new petition to further that cause, but the city says that this traffic pattern is needed to decrease congestion during rush hour. Michaela Marshall on this story tonight. She joins us live near one of those reverse lane signs. We are right outside our Arizona's family studios on 7th Avenue, and you may be able to see behind me one of these signs and lanes in question. People behind this petition to end reverse lanes tell me they are confusing, outdated, and dangerous. They're sometimes called suicide lanes. Basically, suicide to drive in them because... So many things could happen in a split second. Stacy Champion is fed up with reverse lanes in her neighborhood. They are chaotic. They are dangerous. These signs indicate two way left turn lanes on 7th Street and 7th Avenue from McDowell to Dunlap operate as reversible lanes during peak morning and afternoon traffic hours. It's been this way for more than 40 years. We also used to smoke on airplanes and not wear seatbelts. So sometimes change is good. The city of Phoenix points to a study that was finalized the end of 2021. It found that doing away with reverse lanes would cause delays, increase travel times by more than 40% in some areas, and increase the potential for crashes due to traffic congestion. I believe that study is both outdated, now post COVID, and flawed. Champion, along with other neighbors and business owners, created this petition calling for an end to reverse lanes, saying highway speeds don't belong on residential streets. She even got a speed gun to illustrate her safety concerns. The speed limit here is 35 miles per hour. 53. Champion says reverse lanes hurt small businesses along the sevens, and she feels these roads should be functional for everyone, not just commuters in a hurry. There are many businesses who have actually had to like lose hours and customers because of them. It's a cause she's been pursuing off and on for more than a decade. We're not giving up this time. Champion sent me some news coverage in other states like Georgia and Kentucky where reverse lanes have been eliminated and she says her group is not backing down until the same thing happens here in Phoenix. The city tells me that some improvements could be made but there's no timeline or funding for any changes. Live in Phoenix, Michaela Marshall for Arizona's Family.